Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel, Kono Pro. In this video, we're going to be installing this set of closet doors. This set of closet doors is a 60 inch wide by 96 inch tall closet door. So it's basically 5 foot by 8 foot tall. Okay, and the opening that we had to install these doors in was 65 inches. So we had to bring the two sides in about 2.5 inches on each side. And then we also put a top piece to hide our top track. So stick around, watch this video, and you'll see how we did it. Install a floor to ceiling closet door system. Okay, we have a 60 inch wide closet door system, and we have a 65 inch opening, which is typical in some of these old homes and apartments. And also our height is about two inches taller than we want it so we're going to throw a three quarter inch bottom piece to throw our bottom track on and then we're going to throw a three quarter inch top piece to the ceiling to throw our top track on right and then once we do that we can throw our two side pieces and we'll have framed in our closet so check it out that's my top track i'm going to double check everything make sure everything's good i have all my cuts pre-cut what we're using for the wood is a pre-primed pine. The sides are going to be a one by three, and then the, or yes, one by three, and then the top is going to be, which is going to be a one by four. So what I'm doing now is I'm measuring out to the existing ledger, which has about an inch setback from the edge of the wall which is good because I want my reveal of my two side pieces and my basically my frame that I'm framing framing out my little uh, um, little molding that I'm gonna be framing out to have my closet and I want it to be set back about a quarter inch from the edge to give it a little bit of a detail so I'm gonna use that ledger there as a as a, a nailing point to nail my two side pieces in and you'll see that coming up so I measured from the back wall to that point and then I made all my marks and I'm going to basically install my top track and my bottom track to that measurement at least the wood the, the piece of wood that's going to be installed there and like I say it's a three quarter inch piece of pre-primed pine and I say three quarter because they call it one by, but it really comes three quarter. All right, so there's my bottom piece. We'll install that. And I'm using um, decorated screws, so they're moisture rated screws. So that way if there's any moisture from mopping or whatever, if water gets under the bottom you know, piece of wood or whatever, it won't get those screws and rust after about 10 years. So I countersunk and I used a pilot and now I'm sinking all my screws in for my bottom piece and that's the piece I'm going to set my track on. Same with the top piece. So now I'm going to put my basically my header piece which is going to be basically what covers the top track so you don't see the top track. And that's a one by four so it actually comes three quarter by three and a half. And then I'm going to set my top track in and I'm going to set my top track in center okay center of the opening so you have an even gap on each side and that's the same thing I'm going to do with the bottom track but you just want to remember the bottom track you don't want to have it butted all the way to the front of your of your bottom piece you want to have it set back at least three quarter inches from your top track follow the instructions when you buy the closet doors but that's pretty typical for installing closet doors your bottom track will be set back three quarter inches back from your top track so in this case I have a three-quarter inch um, you know balance basically up there that's molding covering my thing so I gotta have a inch and a half set back on the bottom to compensate for that molding that's gonna go there as well so you see that I got my bottom track in I got my top track in I got my piece of molding now this is my vertical support and this is the way you know I've been doing this for a long time. It's always worked out great. So that's that's all one by three, which is three quarter inch by two and a half. 
we're locking that in now we're putting in our vertical pieces basically our face pieces on the right and then the left and then at that point we're basically going to have this thing framed in and then we can just throw the mirrors in make our adjustments on the mirror doors and you know go through and fill everything with wood putty caulking whatever you'd like to do and give it a nice paint job with some high gloss semi gloss whatever you want for your finish and boom it'll be nice we're going to trim out that closet with some three quarter round everything's going to be great but you see my setback there my setback on the bottom track is a little under one and a half well one and a half to the center of, of the um, first wheel alignment and then you see I'm three quarter setback on the top because it's butted to that three quarter inch piece of molding so now we're going to pop the doors in. We're going to make adjustments. There's two wheels on the back of each of these doors that you can just use a screwdriver or drill and you screw up and down and it'll make you know the adjustments go up and down. You want to make sure when you put one to one side and one to the other side that they're going to be basically level. So you see your gaps are even. There it is, finished product. That's how we do it everybody. Another closet video. Hope you like it. Please share, subscribe and like. Thank you everybody. Kono Pro out. Peace.